Hello everyone, we are happy to see you on Tech in 5 Minutes. Have you ever wondered how to help developers understand business needs? Here's exactly where a solutions architect enters the picture. By being an expert on both enterprise and technology, they create a connection to optimize teamwork. Let's review the position of solutions architect in detail. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss new tech and business tips, do you? So, who is a solutions architect? A solutions architect breaches the gap between the enterprise and the technology solutions. Solutions architects assess the corporate environment and design, manage, and maintain software solutions to solve business problems. Let's now review the skills needed to become a solutions architect. Over the years working with enterprises on software development projects, we have come up with an ideal list of the solutions architect's hard skills. Data architecture, the ability to structure and maintain data in a way that it becomes valuable to business. Governance framework, it outlines the structure of an organization and highlights the role for each position for decision making. IT strategy, it means being capable of forming efficient steps to approach tech-related issues. Enterprise architecture, it is a set of structures that determine how an organization can achieve its entrepreneurial goals. Object-oriented programming, we believe that being proficient at any object-oriented programming language, like Java or Python, is a must in this industry. Agile, obviously. And finally, DevOps. It is a combination of two teams, the development team and the operations team. This means having the ability to combine both areas to create products or formulate solutions more efficiently. If you want to find out more about DevOps and Agile, check the guide in the description box. Let's now move on to Solutions Architect's soft skills. Leadership, oral and written communication to clearly present the solutions that they have designed. Results-oriented approach, adaptability, as any other profession in the tech industry, must be able to adapt to changes. Analytical thinking and problem-solving skills to be creative when tackling business issues. Do you think that these soft skills are absolutely necessary for any management position? Share your thoughts in the comments. Getting back to the solutions architect role, what are their responsibilities? Determine how the existing technology in the company is used and develop ways to improve them. Work with a software development team to brainstorm ideas. Develop software. Document and monitor requirements. Propose and design frameworks to solve problems at various departments. Monitor the progress of initiatives. Analyze possible project challenges on constraints, including risks, time, resources, and scope. Provide detailed specifications for proposed solutions. Define clear project goals and manage their execution. Give presentations to the board and management teams. In fact, some of the points can resemble an enterprise architect role. So, how are they different? Enterprise Solution Architect sees the whole picture of the corporate tech ecosystem, while Solutions Architect concentrates on using technology to solve business problems. There is also such position as the Technical Architect. They take care of the layout of IT systems and make sure that the information architecture is implemented appropriately. You should hire a Solutions Architect if you have a complex problem to solve, like system transitions and updating software. Also, in the case of handling high-risk projects, a solutions architect can help minimize errors and maximize performance. We hope our video helped you figure out the position of solutions architect. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide tech consulting, software development, UI UX design, QA, and testing services. Find our contacts in the description box. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button.